binary search tree. A binary search tree is a binary tree in which for every node the left child of that node is going to be less than the node and the right child of that node is going to be greater than that node. So, to properly understand this, let's take an example of a binary search tree. So this is going to be an example of a binary search tree. As you can see, for every node, let's take a node 3, the left child 1 is less than 3 and the right child 5 is going to be greater than 3. Let's take another node 1, the left child 0 is less than 1 and the right child 1 is greater than 1. For the node 5, the left child 4 is less than 5 and the right child 6 is going to be greater than 5. So, if this property holds for every node in the binary tree, it's known as a binary search tree. So, what is so special about a binary search tree? Its speciality lies in the fact that the in-order traversal of this binary tree is going to result in the sorted order of these elements. So, the in-order traversal is going to result in the sorted list of elements. Let's look at this and see how it works. So what is the in order traversal state? First we must see the left subtree or we must traverse the left subtree then we must traverse the root and finally we must traverse the right subtree. So this is going to be the order of in order traversal. So let's start traversing this tree. So I have a root 3. I have a left subtree and a right subtree. I first go to the left subtree. I have a root 1. I have a left subtree and a right subtree. So I go to the left subtree and print it out because it's a leaf node. And there are no left or right subtrees to a leaf node. So I've printed out the left subtree of 1. Now I print 1 which is the root of this left subtree. Then I print out the right subtree of 1 which is going to be 2. Now the left subtree of, tree of 3 has been completely traversed. So now I can print out tree, uh, 3. Now that I have printed out the left subtree of 3, the root 3 itself, and now I have to go to the right subtree of 3. So I have this subtree. I'll go to the left subtree again. I will print it out because it's a leaf element. Then I will print out the root which is 5. Then I will print out the right subtree of 5 which is 6. Now that I have printed out the left subtree of 3, 3 itself and the right subtree of 3, I can say that this tree which is rooted at element 3 is going to be completely traversed. As you see, the in order traversal is going to return the sorted order of these elements. Another important property of a binary search tree is that it is easy to search for elements in a binary search tree. Suppose I want to search for element 2. I start at the root. Will I search for 2 in the left subtree of 3 or the right subtree of 3? Definitely I will search for 2 somewhere in the left subtree of 3 because it is going to be less than 3. So in this way, we can keep minimizing our range of search using a binary search tree. In this topic of binary search trees, we are going to take a look at three algorithms.
we will take a look at the searching algorithm then we will see how to insert elements into a binary search tree we will also see how we are going to delete elements from this binary search tree so in the following videos we will learn these three algorithms and see how they work and with that we will get a comprehensive understanding of what a binary search tree is and how it works